Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be giving you some tips for how you can make a chic and professional style website for your clothing business using Shopify. I'm gonna get into how you can display and feature your products, how you can link and feature your brand's social media pages, and how you can add and customize an email signup, and also where you can send out emails and email newsletters to your email members. These tips are gonna be adaptable for many types of online businesses, whether you have a clothing boutique or if you sell other types of products. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Alright, the first tip I would definitely recommend for adding a professional touch to your clothing store would be to include at least one featured product collection on the homepage of your website as opposed to only just listing your collection list. A collection list is a section that's going to display each of your product collections. This way when customers are on your website, they can easily browse and filter through your products. Here's an example of how you can display a featured collection in your Shopify website. This is a great way for you to feature any brand new or best selling products. For an example, you'll have the option to title the heading shop our best sellers or shop our new arrivals. And you also have the option to stack the featured collection section to feature multiple product collections. For this website, I kept it simple and I displayed one featured product collection. To add this type of section, here I'm going to click add section. Then I'm going to import a featured collection. Here under heading is where you can retitle this section. And you also have the option to put this text in bold or italic. Here when you click this link icon, you can insert a link leading to this collection or leading to another link. You can adjust the heading size to make it larger or smaller. Here under description is where you can write a little mini description to possibly describe this collection. And you'll have a few other text editing options. So you can make the text larger or smaller. Under number of columns on desktop, this is where you can increase how many products you want to show. Then you'll want to be sure to enable the view all button if your collection includes more than just four products. You'll have the option to change the color scheme of this section and you can also change the image ratio of the cover of your products. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with creating collections on Shopify, here on Shopify, you're going to click products, then collections and click create collection. I'm going to click save and when you click browse, this is where you can manually select the products you would like to add to this collection. Then you're going to open your Shopify website, click on that featured collection section. Then when you click select collection, this is where you can choose to feature that brand new collection that we just created. If your store is selling multiple different products, you definitely don't want to skip out on incorporating a featured product collection or a couple featured product collections on your website. The next tip I would recommend for giving your boutique website that professional touch would be to feature your social media links. Including your social media links is a great way to help your customers engage more with your website. And if they're interested in what they're seeing on the website, they can go and visit your social media and take a look at your posts and videos of your products and just in general, your marketing content. In case you're unfamiliar, I'm going to show you how you can add links to your social media handles. And I'm also going to show you how you can make a little mini promo banner for your social media. First, you're going to want to open your Shopify website. Then you're going to click on the announcement bar and I'm going to select show icons on desktop. This is going to show your social media icons. Then I'm going to click theme settings. And here, when you click social media, this is where you can paste the links to your social media pages. And those icons are going to be displaying right here on the side of the announcement bar. You can also do the same for the footer bar of your website. You're just going to click on the footer. Then here, I'm going to select show social media icons. For an advanced option, you can include a larger and a more advanced section to promote your social media. I'm going to show you a quick beginner friendly way that you can make a featured social media banner. Here, I'm going to click add section. You can insert a rich text section. I'm going to title this follow us on Instagram. Then you can write a mini description. Then you can title the button label follow us and paste the link to your social media you're featuring. And that's a quick beginner friendly way that you can add a social media text banner. Here's a little bit more of an advanced way that you can display your social media banner. You can include pictures of your posts and your username. By the way, if you are interested in this website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format. This is perfect for if you're looking to save time from designing your website from scratch and for if you want your website to have that professional style and layout. I have many different Shopify theme templates for many types of businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup products, and I also have some for dropshipping and home decor businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that theme file into your store. You have many different editing options to change the colors, tech and to add your pictures and products and again i have many different types for many different businesses a lot of my website bundles also include logo templates web banner templates and more i will link those in my description box below also if you're marketing your business on instagram i do have some instagram post templates available on my website these can give your brand's instagram feed a stylish touch and they are adaptable to fit many different businesses i will link those in my description box as well 
The next tip I would definitely recommend for adding that professional look to your boutique website would be to add an email sign up to your website. This can help visitors and customers become a little bit more locked in with your store since they've officially joined a member list. And through your marketing emails and newsletter, you'll be able to announce new product and any discounts and sales that you're running and much more. Your email list is very crucial so you'll want to make sure to prompt your customers and your website visitors to join that list. This way you can also help to convert your visitors into paying customers. I'm going to show you how you can add your email sign up to your website and how you can customize it so adding different color schemes and different text sizes. I'm going to show you how you can make a separate email page. If you promote an email sign up page that you designed, it's a great way to describe to visitors and customers why they should sign up. Then I'll be showing you how to send out emails to your email list members. Here on Shopify, you're going to open your website and I'm going to click add section. I'm going to scroll down and here I'm going to import an email sign up. When you click this icon, this is where you can reposition the email sign up to another area in your website. When you click on this section, you'll have a couple different editing options. So if you want to reduce the amount of space that you have between two sections, you can reduce the top and bottom padding which can basically kind of make those sections closer together. I'm going to click on the heading and this is where you can retitle the heading of this section. I'd highly recommend writing some form of call to action. So for an example, you can offer a discount for customers sign up to your email list. You have the option to make the heading size larger or smaller. You can also put this text in bold and italic. Then when you click insert link, this is where you can insert an external link or insert a link leading to another page within your website. When you click on a specific element in the email sign up, and if you click this icon, this is where you can reposition those elements or those text boxes. You'll also have the option to play around with different color schemes. So when you click theme settings, then colors, I'm gonna click add color scheme. And this is where you can play around with the color scheme of the section. So you can make it different colors from the rest of your website, or you can make like a similar offset color. And that's a quick way that you can add an email sign up to your website. The next tip I would definitely recommend would be to create an email sign up page. The page can help break down why people should join your email list and what they'll benefit from it. So to do this, I'm gonna click pages, then click add page. I'm gonna title this the email page, then click save. Then you're gonna open your Shopify theme. I'm gonna click home page, then click pages, and I'm gonna click create template. I'm gonna title this the email page template and click create template. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna open that email page again. And right here under theme template, you're gonna apply that brand new email page template that we just created. Really quickly, I'm gonna add a link to that email page on the main menu. To do that, you're gonna click navigation, then main menu. And this is where you can add a new menu item. So I'm gonna add a link to that email page. Then you're gonna open your website again. I'm gonna click to open this email signup page. And this is where you can start customizing this page. Under template, I'm gonna click add section. And this is where you can start inserting any sections you would like to introduce this page. I'm gonna insert a multi-column. Then I'm gonna just begin customizing this section to help to promote the email signup page. For this first column, I'm just gonna use this as an image column. And this is where you can upload one of your brand pictures. Then when you click on this multi-column section, you'll have a few other editing options. You can make the image smaller if you would like. You can also change the image ratio. So you can set this to portrait if you would like the picture to display a little bit more vertical. And next you can just start listing off the reasons why customers can sign up to your email list, what they'll gain from being a member of your list. I'll be using ChatGPT to help me write out this text. Then once you're done, I'm gonna click on this title section and I'll just be hiding that away. The next step is optional, but I'm gonna include a mini banner. Here I'm gonna insert an image banner. And you can go ahead and design this section however you would like. Then to end this page, I'm gonna go ahead and insert an email sign up section. So here I'm gonna click add section and this is where I'm gonna import the email sign up. And I'm gonna design this email sign up to match that one that we added to the home page of the website. And this is an excellent way to help describe to your visitors and to your customers what your email sign up is truly gonna offer for them. And it can just look a lot more professional to design a separate email page. All right, then last I'll be showing you how you can actually send out emails to those email list members. So here on Shopify, I'm gonna click marketing and this is where you can click create campaign. I'm gonna click Shopify email. And this is where you can start branding your email. So you can list in some of your brand colors, your local, your store name, and more. Here, I'm just gonna click next. 
and this is where you can have access to Shopify's email list templates slash their email newsletter templates. So as you can see, they have some for if you're announcing new collections. If you're announcing what products are back in stock, you can also announce any new arrivals. Then they have a section for holidays and occasions for when you want to announce customers of any holiday sales or holiday discounts you're running. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.